It's pretty enough, I suppose, if you like trees. <laughs> Aren't you a little overdressed for a stroll through Fadark Forest? And maybe you haven't heard, but we're fighting orcs today. Your words are wasted on this one, Eodane. It's but another fool who thinks to be a hero. When will Lithgorius stop sending them to us? They don't come prepared, they don't follow orders, and they don't bathe. They're more trouble than they're worth. Mark my words, we'll end up burying this one right next to the others. With your charm, Hathnor, it's little wonder we don't get more recruits from Fadark's champions. You will have to excuse my friend, but he does have a point. If you're here to do battle with the orcs or goblins, you'll need to better equip yourself. Equip with what? We haven't got any extra provisions. The goblins took everything they could lay their hands on. You might as well go home. The Hartwood Master would not be pleased to hear his warrior welcomed with such words, Coel. This knight has traveled a long way to do battle at my father's request, on behalf of our people. Forgive Coel's words. These have been difficult times for us all. I am Elgoane, lieutenant in the Fadark Battalion, and son of Leith Corius. You are welcome here among us, champion. I see my father chose wisely, indeed. You could not have come at a better time. If you wish to arm yourself with better weapons and armor, then it may be that we can aid each other. Beyond the rock grotto are two fallen trees which mark the goblin's cave. In this cave, you will find the spoils the goblins plundered when they sacked our home of Kelethan. In exchange for spilling goblin blood, you may also find other things there which could be of great use to you on your mission.
Of all the places I could wish to die, this is certainly not one of them. Of all the places I could wish to die, this is certainly not one of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
whatever cursed thing is waiting down here, be warned. We barbarians of Hollis don't retreat.